guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to look at the E6 Connect and uh, check your data, your stats, your pass rounds. You can actually be given a handicap after you play four rounds. Uh, you can also play some events online uh, with A6 uh, free of charge. And so there's a few things that you can do. Um, but the only thing that is required, obviously, is that you're going to need two connections, the Wi-Fi connection and a cellular connection. So I'm going to go over a few things on how you can do this. So stay tuned. first thing you need obviously it's an iPad that has a cellular capability like this so this is the main thing that you need because uh, a lot of people don't understand that you need two connections you need the Wi-Fi connection to connect your Mevo Plus and then you need the mobile um, cellular line to get the other connection it is quite simple actually as, as long as you have this device right here this is an iPad that has this uh, capability here for a cellular line. Uh, I think it could be the same with Android. Uh, and all you gotta do, actually, there's a little slot right here for a SIM card. All you do is just put on your uh, your SIM card of your phone and put it in here. So when you do that, then basically you have two lines and you can use your Wi-Fi to connect your middle plus and then the other one to connect online. You go into E6 Connect and obviously after you hook up your Wi-Fi and your cellular line, and what you have to do from here, from E6, you have to log in into your account. And it's the same account that you have on the website. So if you go to the website, you can also log in from there and you can actually be connected simultaneously. So that's not a problem. So as long as you have an account. Okay, so when you get in, instead of using the guest um, option there, it, which is something that I used to do, that's not gonna track anything at all. So you have to log in, that way you can get, it. all the stats will be tracked if you log in. So enter your email address and your password and then you can log in into the um, account and once you log in you can start playing uh any game any round any course and that will count towards your handicap so officially it will count towards your handicap obviously with some restrictions so far as far as the mulligans and as far as the gimme ranges okay so you can also go back to the main menu and play some of the events that they have uh, there's also the pin seeker game but it's only uh, limited to people in the States. So you can click on events and you can join any of the events that they have there as long as you have the course available in your in your iPad or you know if you bought the courses, then you are allowed to play free of charge and you will be included in the leaderboard. Uh, normally they do nine whole rounds or closest to pin. Okay, so another interesting thing is that you can go to the website from uh, your phone or uh, your computer and you can see your events right here. So if I look here, uh, I play actually four rounds online, uh, which means account. So I, I shot uh, 70, I shot 80, I shot 75, and then I shot something else there. And I was given a handicap of uh, plus 3.1 right now based on this uh four rounds one thing to keep in mind is that if you're doing um if you want this to be valid for your handicap uh the gimmies are going to be uh for me a workout with five foot gimmies obviously if you start putting 10 or 20 foot gimmies it's going to tell you uh this round cannot be valid for your handicap and then another thing uh mulligan settings it says unlimited here and you can try to do a mulligan, but if, it will tell you, if you try to do a mulligan, it will tell you, it will not count for your handicap uh, if you decide to take a mulligan. And the way um, is eligible for handicap is if it has the H on it. So when you see an H on it, it means that it's eligible to count towards your handicap, which means it basically means that you didn't take any uh, mulligans and your gimme range was uh, reasonable. You can click on your round and this is where you can uh, you can check your your stats so it gives you your your scorecard which is very very useful because you will see how many green star regulations you you hit uh, i will tell you what shots you made uh, it give you an statistics on pots as well you can also go to a uh, statistics and there you can see your green regulations so 72 percent that is really really good and that's probably why this is what this was my best score because i shot two under and it's probably because i was hitting a lot of green so driving accuracy um, driving distance your average your putt distance as well and uh, you can go by you can look at every single shot as well so that's that would be interesting and then another thing is on your analytics 
Uh, here you can actually look at uh, an average of shots. So let's just say I want to look at my driver. I hit driver and I will look on the right side here. And you can see that I hit uh, a lot of fades and a few draws. To be exact, three draws. And uh, I think there were pulls actually and a lot of fades. So you can kind of see your your shot, uh, tra your trajectory and your a little trend maybe. You know how you're hitting maybe. Uh, if I look at my 6-iron, I can see that I tend to pull my 6-iron. If I can go back to my 7-iron, I'm a little more consistent with my 7. With my 8, I only hit one shot, so I'm not sure if I can uh, draw any trends in there. But uh, um, you get the point. You can uh, look at every single um, average of the whole round. So overall, I think that's good information. Uh, all you need, obviously, though, is a uh, cellular iPad or Android device. And I guess right now I have just one SIM card, but I will try to purchase two SIM cards so that way I don't have to uh, slide the SIM card in and out every time I want to do this. But I think it's quite useful, to be honest, because you will uh, keep track of your all your rounds and you can just look it up in your in your computer or your phone or your iPad. And I think it's pretty handy for me and you can kind of see your progress. OK, so another thing that you can do is you can also play events and you can see that here you go into events and then you can actually uh you gotta make sure you're eligible to play obviously and once you do that you can click there and you can check out the leaderboard see exactly uh where you are here i think i did not um uh, I, I did not participate in this one but i was kind of uh, i was messing around with it but i did not get to participate to this one so you can also participate to the pin seeker events that's i think that's awesome but uh, unfortunately i live in italy so i cannot participate it's only limited to people who live within the states actually there's some states where you can do it some states where you cannot do it so but uh to me i think that adds a little pressure when you're you know even when i'm recording my rounds i if i want to be uh, if i want them to be valid for my handicap I think uh, you know I start record I start um, I do it online and I think that adds a little pressure so and that's good I think you know it, it's not like a tournament obviously because it's easier everything is level at, at my, in my house but um, I think it adds a little pressure and it makes you be a little more focused when you play online okay guys so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I think there is some great information here on ASICs that you can use to improve your game uh, track your your stats your data especially over time, see how you're making progress, how many green cell regulations are you hitting, whether that has an effect on your overall score or not, what areas of your game you can improve. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching. Until next time.